is a journey. We started from just negative screening, which is really defense side of the portfolio. We move on to having some sort of an overall GIC framework on looking at sustainability anchored by our ODE framework. I think the next stage of development is where we need to see pervasive integration of what ESG means in every part of our business. And that requires everybody to exercise leadership, to drive and own that journey of what ESG means in their respective asset classes and businesses. I think it's a mindset shift that is the most important because when you have that mindset shift, you truly will drive the change from within rather than someone imposing the change on you. It's important for people to realize that sustainability is an investment issue. It drives the value of the investments that we invest in over the longer term, and regulations are changing, government policies are changing the rules of the game, consumer preferences are also evolving, and so people have to realize that this is going to be core in whatever we do, and we need people to drive that journey. Net Zero products, it could be new to everyone, but I think it's going to be very important angle for consumer to push through these net zero transitions. Today, government is really keen the net zero transitions and uh, large enterprise as well. So we need to find the consumer angle because end of the day, this carbon products is used by consumers. If they raised requests for their shoes, for their coffees, for their food, and for the furniture, electrical devices become green and net zero, it is going to help to asking these companies, the manufacturing, the OEMs, to source the net zero electricity, net zero fabricants, materials, and using net zero technology to make it happen, which is going to pour through all the upstream, then the entire transition will be much faster and easy. Well, let's define excitement first here. We are an investor that works with strategic partners that we try to help uh, on their journey towards net zero. We have impact in our name and we also want to make money. So in, in, if you put that lens on it, uh, I think there are several opportunities to do that. On the one hand, uh, we are very much focused on deploying existing technologies that are ready to scale, that we work uh, with our partners on. If you think about the bigger carbon challenge, it's 75% it's energy, 80% of that can be electrified. So it's mostly about the clean electron that we want to deploy uh, quickly, but also reliably. And there you, you know, you're talking about uh, things like electrifying end uses. You make uh, a lot of the grid, the infrastructure uh, more stable. Then you have the challenge of getting to the last 20% of electrification. And uh, those technologies may not all be uh, developed today. We just launched a specific fund on that, uh, on that topic, which we call the Frontier Deep Decarbonization Fund. And they are dealing with those tough challenges, you know, uh, and, you know, from carbon capture to to electrifying uh, cement manufacturing, which accounts 10% of the emissions globally, or long-term seasonal storage. And uh, those are exciting, but they are more, you know, they, they are harder to do. And at the end, I think we need to do both.